When the world watched Tesla, China quietly changed the EV game. While the world kept its eyes on Tesla's next big move, China made a quiet yet seismic shift that sent shockwaves through the EV industry. A new kind of engine has emerged, one that no one anticipated. It's powerful, affordable, and efficient enough to redefine what electric vehicles can be. Imagine a technology that boosts speed, cuts costs, simplifies maintenance, and enhances performance, all at once. This isn't a futuristic dream, it's already here. And this breakthrough has suddenly become the focal point of discussion in markets like the US, Europe, and Japan. While Western automakers are still wrestling with battery costs, slow charging times, and production bottlenecks, China has quietly unveiled a powertrain that's flipping the script. Is this a warning sign for giants like Tesla? Could this new engine change how we define electric vehicles altogether? Let's explore the technology that's forcing the global auto industry to sit up and rethink its future. Section 1. How China became the undisputed leader in EVs. Before diving into the groundbreaking engine shaking up the market, let's understand how China got here. While everyone was waiting for Tesla to make its next move, China took a step that would alter the course of the EV industry forever. This wasn't just about building cars, it was about leading a global transition, a mission to set the standard rather than follow it. And China's strategy was clear from the start, build an ecosystem of green tech, rapid innovation, and strong government policy to take control of the EV narrative. If someone told you that a new engine could disrupt the global EV strategy, it might sound far-fetched. But China's recent success proves otherwise. This transformation started years ago, when cities were choking under pollution and facing energy insecurity. The Chinese government recognized that relying on gasoline and diesel wasn't sustainable. That moment sparked a turning point. In 2001, China launched the 863 program, a national initiative focused on clean energy innovation. Initially, the technology was expensive and public interest was low, but China didn't back down. It doubled down, heavily investing in electric, hybrid, and hydrogen vehicle technology. By 2010, the government rolled out subsidies and incentives at every level, from manufacturers to everyday consumers. EV adoption surged. The first major breakthrough came when Shenzhen electrified its entire fleet of 16,000 buses by 2017. It wasn't just a milestone, it was a statement. Government support only grew stronger. Policies like the dual credit system ensured that no automaker could afford to ignore EVs. The result? Within a decade, China became both the world's largest EV producer and its biggest consumer. Brands like BYD, NIO, and Xpeng now dominate not just in China, but are making waves in Europe, Latin America, and beyond. Competing head-to-head -head with global giants like Tesla and Volkswagen, China has turned the game on its head. Another key to its rise? Charging infrastructure. China built public charging stations so fast and on such a massive scale that range anxiety, once the biggest obstacle to EV adoption, has practically vanished. Now, with the launch of an even cheaper and more efficient powertrain, China is poised to take the lead again. And the world is starting to follow. Countries in Europe are adopting China's strategies. Battery giants like CATL and BYD are giving China a strategic edge in the global battery supply chain. By 2023, four in 10 new vehicles sold in China were electric. That's not just progress, it's a revolution. And now the rest of the world is scrambling to catch up. Section two, the BYD Seagull, the affordable EV that shook the industry. Enter the BYD Seagull, a car that has completely flipped the EV narrative. Until now, electric cars were considered a luxury, dominated by high-end brands. But the Seagull proves that a powerful, safe and efficient EV doesn't have to come with a luxury price tag. It's built for the everyday driver, long range, low price and practical features, all in one smart package. What sets the Seagull apart is its battery. BYD's in-house developed lithium iron phosphate, LFP battery. Unlike traditional EV batteries, it doesn't rely on expensive or rare materials like cobalt. This makes the battery not only more affordable, but also safer and more durable. 
In a world where EV battery fires still raise concerns, the Seagull puts those fears to rest. The car's design also reflects smart cost-cutting without compromising quality. For instance, it uses a single windshield wiper, simple, effective and more affordable to produce and maintain. The compact size is ideal for urban settings, but the interior is surprisingly spacious and well-designed, giving drivers a premium feel without the premium price. Fast charging? Absolutely. The Seagull charges quickly, making it ideal for daily commutes. It's not just practical, it's convenient. In Western markets, EVs are often positioned as status symbols. Think Tesla or BMW. But the Seagull challenges that entire mindset. It offers everything you'd want in a daily driver, reliable range, safety, comfort and low cost, without any unnecessary flash. The results speak for themselves. The Seagull is gaining traction across Europe and Latin America. In markets where affordability matters, it's a game changer. And it's not just hype. BYD's Q3 2024 revenue hit $28 billion, beating Tesla's $25 billion. That's not just a win for BYD, it's a validation of its strategy. While Tesla focused on the high-end market, BYD tapped into the far larger market of affordable EVs. And their approach is working. What's BYD's secret? Vertical integration. From battery production to final assembly, BYD controls the entire supply chain. This control allows them to cut costs while maintaining quality, something most automakers can't match. The Seagull isn't just a car, it's a statement. It proves that great EVs can be for everyone, not just the elite. Smart tech, smarter strategy. China's EV revolution isn't just about affordability. It's about innovation too. Advanced features like lane assist, voice commands, auto parking, and adaptive cruise control, once limited to luxury models, are now standard in many Chinese budget EVs. These technologies are becoming smarter with every update, enhancing safety and convenience for everyday drivers. Even range anxiety is being addressed innovatively. Xpeng and others are introducing hybrid systems that allow long-distance travel even in regions where charging infrastructure is weak, making EVs practical beyond big cities. The interior quality of Chinese EVs is also catching global attention. Once dismissed as cheap, cars from brands like BYD and NIO now boast interiors that rival premium European models. This shift is redefining what consumers expect. Premium experience without premium pricing the hidden cost of EVs, and China's ethical pivot. Of course, no technology is perfect. EVs may be clean on the road, but making their batteries has an environmental impact. Mining for lithium, nickel and cobalt consumes enormous water and energy and often raises human rights concerns. China, however, is working to address this. Battery leaders like CATL and BYD are investing in recycling programs and second-life battery systems. Spent EV batteries are being reused in energy storage for rural areas, hospitals and solar farms. It's a step in the right direction, but there's still a long way to go. As awareness grows, especially in Western markets, consumers are demanding ethically sourced materials and environmentally responsible production. Chinese companies are adapting, aiming to clean up their supply chains and meet international standards. Traditional automakers are feeling the heat. China's EV surge is no longer a domestic story. It's a global reality. Legacy automakers like Toyota, BMW and Ford are now struggling to stay relevant in the face of China's fast, affordable, feature-rich EVs. Brands like BYD, Xpeng and NIO are rapidly expanding in Europe, Latin America and even parts of Asia, markets once ruled by Western giants. In Europe, buyers want EVs but shy away from high prices. That's where Chinese brands shine, offering practical, reliable and affordable alternatives. This shift is forcing legacy brands to rethink everything. Ford's CEO Jim Farley even admitted that if US automakers don't step up, Chinese EV dominance could wipe them out. Elon Musk, too, has expressed concerns that without Chinese supply chains, EV production in the US will become much more difficult and expensive. The message is loud and clear. The old ways won't work anymore.
In today's auto industry, it's not just about brand legacy, it's about technology, pricing and speed of execution. And unless traditional automakers adapt fast, they risk being left behind. Conclusion the next chapter of the EV revolution won't be written in glossy showrooms or elite tech labs. It's being shaped on the streets of China, in factories optimized for scale, and in the hands of everyday drivers looking for affordable, reliable alternatives. BYD's Seagull isn't just a product. It's a symbol of how the future of transportation is changing, and that future is already here.